Hi, this is Michael. Today I wanted to introduce you to the Netgear WND930 High Power Outdoor Access Point. This is a 2x2 access point operating on both 5 GHz and 2.4 GHz bands. When you purchase the access point, it comes with an internal antenna which provides 180 degree horizontal coverage. Optionally, you can purchase it with external antennas which will then provide 360 degree horizontal coverage. When you're considering mounting this access point, you should be thinking about the usage pattern that you expect the access point to cover. So for example, if you plan to cover an area going out in one direction, you can mount the access point on either a pole or the wall and you should start with the internal antennas. If you want to cover a region that's 360 degrees, consider mounting the access point on a pole and use the external antennas. Remember to consider the area you're trying to cover when you mount your access point. So for example, if you want to cover an area that's one direction, consider mounting your access point on the wall and using the internal antennas. Ideally, this access point would be able to transmit and receive horizontally, but in reality, there's going to be some amount of dispersion. For this reason, you want to mount the access point approximately 15 feet or 5 meters above the ground. That's a good starting point. Your transmit and receive distance will also be affected by other things including trees, other buildings, and asphalt. You will get reflections off asphalt, trees, and buildings as well as uh, other obstructions that may cause the signal to degrade. If you're interested in covering an area that's 360 degrees around, consider mounting your access point on a pole and using the external antennas. Again, the dispersion pattern will be up and down and not in a perfect horizontal line. So for that reason, you want to again mount it at approximately 15 feet or five meters above the ground. These are only guidelines and it's good to test fit these type of configurations before you've committed to permanently mounting it. Thanks for watching our video and I hope this helps you uh, try to set up an initial access point configuration outdoors. Once you do one, I'm sure you'll find it easy to get the next one configured.